Hey y'all, Melissa here with you today, and I always have cold hands, particularly at football games. But then I also typically want to use my phone and check scores while I'm at the same outdoor cold game. So here is my solution today. I've made these mittens that have access so that you can get your fingers out and your thumb sticks out as well. So without even taking your fingers out, you can do some thumb typing if you need to. I've got a free pattern for my newsletter subscribers to make these. So make sure you check out the link below and grab the pattern for this and then meet me back here and I will show you how we sew these together. After you've gone and you've downloaded your pattern, you need to cut out all the pieces and let's talk about a couple of important things before you cut things out. First of all, this is designed for stretch fleece so it does need to stretch. Secondly, the pattern's going to have markings on it of where or which direction the stretch needs to run. For example, on the cuffs, it needs to stretch around your wrist, so it's got to stretch in this direction. Um, pay attention to that when you're cutting. Once you have everything cut out, then what we need to do first is we need to take the tops the and the palms pieces and the thumb piece, and we're going to be finishing the top edge. So, Here's the thumb piece, and you'll notice that fleece has generally like a fuzzy side, and it has a side that's still fuzzy but flatter, and you can decide which side you want to be inside and which side you want to be outside. In this case, I've decided that I want that flatter side to be the outside of my pieces. So, you can see I have two mirrored thumb pieces here, and all I did was fold to the wrong side, that straight top edge there of the thumb, and you need to go ahead and stitch that down. So that's what this looks like when it is finished. It's stitched down and this is the right side going to be the outside of the thumb. You're going to need to do the same thing with the mitten tops and with the mitten palms. Okay, so I need to take this one and fold an edge, and I'm going to need to stitch that, and same thing with my palm here, I need to fold this edge, and I'm going to need to stitch that. But I'm going to set those aside by now, for now because you can see what they all look like when they're stitched and finished. And what I want to do next is we're actually going to be sewing in this thumb gusset. I need the mitten back. And what I want to do is get one of these mitten backs where I can line them up right sides together. So for me, the right side is going to be that flatter side. And I want to stitch the very bottom half inch here. I am using a stretch stitch on my machine. This is the one that looks like a lightning bolt. That is my preferred one to use on my machine. If your machine doesn't have that, a narrow short stitched zigzag will work as well. And remember this pattern has 3 8 inch seams so I'm just going to stitch right up to my pin here. Okay, once you've got that stitched then what you want to do is you're going to be putting your thumb gusset in. And the way this is going to look, so the thumb gusset has the little notches that I've cut to match. So I'm going to put this right sides together and the edges of my thumb gusset and my other fabric, like including that seam allowance edge, those should match. And then of course my notches match as well. And then I'm going to stitch down this seam just until I hit that little spot where the first seam that I sewed starts. Okay, once I've got that side of my thumb gusset sewn, and it really doesn't matter whether this is the mitten palm or the mitten back, but you're going to sew one edge like that, and then you're going to flip it, match those notches again, and you're going to start at the same point here, and we're going to sew this edge. So take a second and really like line your needle up to stitch that. Okay, 
So you can see I've got the back of my mitten, the palm of my mitten, and I've got this thumb gusset sewn in between. What will happen now is when I assemble everything, now I will have this thumb sticking out to the side of my mitten. Before I stitch anything though, we need this top part of the mitten put on. So this is where I'm going to take my mitten top and I am going to place it. And you want the mitten top to be on the bottom layer of this. So place that and then it should be overlapped by the palm of the mitten. And go ahead and probably want to add some pins to keep those together. And then you also want to make sure that you're aligning this seam up. And I like to press that seam around the thumb open. You want to make sure that you're aligning that gusset seam up exactly. Okay, so I actually prefer to start on this side. So I may move my... And the reason I prefer to start on the non-thumb side. So on the other mitten, it'll actually be the other way um, with palm up. But I want to sew around here and I'm going to come all the way down into the thumb seam here until I'm three-eighths of an inch away from this little corner and then turn and sew up the thumb. Okay, so here is our mitten, what it looks like on the inside right now. The next thing we want to do is go ahead and trim down these seams. Because this is fleece, it is generally not going to fray. And that is one of the reasons it's easy to work with. You can also trim some of this extra out of the thumb gusset seams there. Okay, so let's turn this mitten right side out. You also want to go ahead and trim off those threads from your machine knotting, or my machine knots. If your machine doesn't, you'll want to backstitch at the end of seams. Okay, so here is the majority of my mitten is finished. So I have the tip of my thumb available, and then I have the palm available, and I can flip this down so that I can use the rest of my fingers. Now, let's look at um, adding the cuff onto this, and then it will be finished. So what I want to do for the cuffs, remember they're stretching this direction. Okay, so I want to fold them in the same direction as the stretch and make sure that I'm continuing to have the fuzzy inside since that would, that's what I decided for this pair. I need to stitch down this short edge on each of them. Once the short edge is stitched, you can go ahead and trim down that seam allowance. Make yourself like a quarter inch. Then you want to fold the cuff, pressing those two seam allowances together. And there you go, that makes the cuff. And then we want to take the cuff, and I like to put the seam on the thumb side of my mitten, but that's completely up to you. But I'm going to go ahead and match all of those seam allowances. And at this point, you know, I've got like three layers of fleece. Um, clips might be easier to use than pins. Three raw edges, line them all up. And then we're going to stitch around this cuff. I typically find it's easier to stitch if I put the presser foot inside my circle rather than try to stitch it from the outside. Go ahead and th uh, trim off the extra threads. And then you can trim this seam allowance down as well. Just be really careful like not to cut a hole in your glove by cutting more than the seam allowance. And of course, if you have a serger and you like to use your serger, you can totally do that. 
on those edges. Alright, so here is my finished mitten. You can see how I've got access to my thumb and then I can flip this up for our fingers to come out and I can keep my hands warm while I also use my fingers if I need to.